hanging out right now with Allegra Acosta. She's really cool. And uh, she's here to give us a tour. We're in our superheroes poses. We're in our superheroes poses. <laughs> So this is the first room. We're in Nico's room. It's like a saucy magician's la lair. So we have Nico's kind of little bed that she drapes out. She kind of comes at mid-season, this room. And then we have a nice little desk here that we bring in another fam family member in later into the season. Ooh, spooky. Ooh, spooky. Oh my god, the cobwebs are giving me like horror movie vibes. Sitting down here now with Renzi Feliz, who plays Alex on The Runaways. So cool to be part of a Marvel production, yeah. right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Definitely. isn't that the dream? It is. I mean, yeah. With the fan base that Marvel has, how much money they have to be able to create sets like this, to create shows like this, it's incredible to be a part of something that, you know, this universe that kind of touches so many people's lives. So absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We get to do incredible stunts. We get to do incredible things on the, on the show, on, on the action side of things. So all in all, I'm very happy to be here. I still can't um, grasp that whole idea of being on a Marvel show. It's, it's insane. Still two years into this, I continue to be in awe of just everything, and I don't think it's hit me yet that I am actually part of this world. It's so exciting. I remember when I first got the job, I was like, oh my god, I started crying. No, it's great. And uh, Brian, uh, Brian K. Vaughn, incredible writer. To get to come to work every day and play a Marvel character is, is really a dream come true. It's like we work at an amusement park or something. And like all the Marvel movies right now and stuff are just killing it out there, so it's just crazy to be like, wow, I'm actually like a little tiny bit of part of that. <laughs> I'm constantly worried that I'm gonna spoil something inadvertently and like Marvel's gonna come down and just like rip me off the Gitmo or something. My son was like, Dad, you're, you're part of the Marvel Universe now. It's like, I know, how cool is that? That is you know? amazing. Isn't it? This is where the Runaways kind of chill and make all of their plans and also eat some grub, do a lot of dumpster diving. This is kind of my favorite little part about this place is that we have all these candles and once we light them up, it looks like a very Petra Collins, like Instagram worthy editorial. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite Marvel character? Did you grow up with a favorite? I, I feel like my favorite growing up was Spider-Man for sure. I think Jessica Jones is, is really cool. Jessica <laughs> Jones, of course, if we're going oh, yeah. TV. Spider-Man, hands down. I gotta go with the X-Men. Characters. Really? I love Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man, I think Robert Downey is dreamy and uh, just like hilarious as Iron Man. I, I'm a Hulk boy. Really? Oh, yeah. no, I didn't know that about Large, large, yeah. meaning green. You just love it. But, oh, yeah, ripping just off the let shirt. Your anger out. Yeah. I fell in love immediately with everything about the Runaways. Yeah. Spider Man. Where are we now? <laughs> we are in the garage. This is our little garage that seeks out. This is supposed to look like the outlook of the Griffith Park trails, and it's really cool, like the way we built it. Kind of looks like an Indiana Jones kind of underground place. And this is also Chase's bed, who was played by Greg Sulkin. If you could have one superpower in, in life, yeah. what would it be and why? I feel, I've thought about this a lot. Uh, <laughs> I feel like if I, I had one superpower to be to control time. If I pause time and I walk over there and I play it again, boom, that's teleporting. If you slow it down, now you're super quick and you're running, you got speed. I definitely like to go back to my high school to see what they actually thought of me. The power to just make food whenever I want to, like that. Shape shifting, because especially as an actor, that'd be real convenient. The invisibility cloak. If I had a, a power, yeah, I think it would be flight. To fly. I get to fly really? on the show, but it's like on a harness and it's very uncomfortable <laughs> and I would like to actually be able to do that. This is like the grand hall. This is where it's very echo. You see the echo? Those stairways are kind of iconic. It reminds me of very Breakfast Club vibes mixed with mutants. Really cool. Oh, this is one of my favorite rooms because of the amount of old, kind of vintage -y TVs we have in here. This is also Alex's lair and his room. Didn't you say this is one of the largest Marvel sets out there? It is the largest Marvel set, which is really, it was really cool to, and very humbling to be in the biggest Marvel set, like, for television. So when you guys aren't in character, who would you say is the biggest prankster on set? Probably Renzi. We had these like rubber bread loafs on set this year and we would just uh, try to sneak up on each other and throw these bread loaves. I started that for sure. I, you I, did? I, yeah, I was when I started the, low, the, the bread wars. It was not safe to be on this set at a certain point. So let's come into Gert's room. What we, Ariel and I love to do every time we're in this room, we love to play the ukulele and just kind of jam out and like just, 
If you could describe season two in one word. I would say justice. Run. Epic. Massive. Adventure and excitement. Thrilling. Bigger. Explosive. Bananas. Yeah. Action. We're in Nico and Carolina's room. It's kind of the perfect mix of Nico and Carolina, the yin and yang, with yeah. like kind of the gothic black and then like the white angelic like kind of moments. Nice little fake plants, very Carolina. And this is kind of like a little Easter egg to the fans with the rainbow showing Carolina's powers. Fun fact about that painting, we use it later on in a shot that we get his POV from our side. It's really cool. We have some old little, what are these things called? Records? Records! <laughs> Records! <laughs> this is Molly's little escape pod from my side of my room. So you just open it and you go out and you save the world. I hope you enjoyed my little tour of our underground mansion here on the set of Marvel's Runaways. Bye!